Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 4 of WWC Team Builder. Your Chicago Bear Ticks taking on Jake and the Philadelphia Phantoms, coming off of that heartbreaking 6 out of Ian, which, you know, perfectly expected. Uh, apologies if I don't have my normal energy. Um, I'm in the middle of bronchitis. I actually got my voice back today. I had lost it the previous day for the majority of the day. So I'm not quite feeling it. But uh, I do have the music on. I forgot to put that on in the battle. And as many people have wanted to know, why is there a snoring sound? Francis. That is why there's a snoring sound if you hear it in videos. Because my goofy dog is asleep behind me. Oh, by the way, should go back to sleep here shortly. Uh, that's what that snoring sound was, so. Lay well, down, you're fine. I didn't mean to disturb you, but. Uh, the team we're rocking out with here, Mega Glade, My Metal, Haxorus, Nihilego, Rillaboom, Primarina, uh, Ravombi, Arctazolt, Kamala, Palosand, Liveheart, and Charizard. Jake has a team consisting of Celesteela, Guard of War, Victini, Suicune, Weavile, Zygarde, Ten, uh, Zygarde, Zygarde, actually, uh, Decidueye, Raikou, Rhydon, Girder, and Raboot. Uh, his team essentially is a bunch of dogs. Uh, always missing his end date, but anywho. Um, as far as, well, actually, yeah, there's the team. As far as the six I think he brings, I personally think Celesteela comes. He's brought it every match. It makes a lot of sense. Gardevoir can put in a lot of... Uh, Victini comes. Um, it puts in a lot of work versus my team. Probably banded Victini. Um, Mega Gardevoir can put in a decent amount of work. Also gives him Wish Pass um, potential. Celesteela, please don't be the autonomous set, by the way. Uh, I think Coon comes because I got 6 out by Sweet Coon once recently, and I have a feeling Jake will try to pull the same thing off. Zydoge makes a lot of sense. Again, another Mon that can put in a lot of work versus my team, um, especially once I lose Primarina or maybe Blade. Um, Zydoge can come in and wreak a lot of havoc. And then I think Decidueye comes. I don't think he brings hazards against me. I think he brings hazard removal, though, which is why I think Decidueye comes. Weavile is a valid choice versus me. Raikou could come. I don't see it coming, but it could. Rhydon could come if he wants rocks. Girder could come if he wants that for his default control. control. Um, Raboot doesn't make a lot of sense. As far as my team goes, um, we have Melmetal here uh, with Salt Dust, Double Iron Bash, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Darkest Lariat. 252 Adamant, um, 252 HP, forward defense, pretty standard except I threw Iron Fist on, or Salt Dust on, uh, Double Iron Bash, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Darkest Lariat. Basically, do everything I need them to do against his team. I would like Earthquake, but I'm not going to run it. Um, Celesteela, max max defense is getting three shot by um, Thunder Punch, and it's not doing much back to me um, if it's max max with Flamethrower. Gardevoir is a very big issue, but that's mainly why I'm running the Assault Vest versus Gardevoir. Um, it will die to Double Iron Bash. Uh, Victini, if I predict the switch correct, Victini will not take a Darkest Lariat from Melmetal. Uh, Suicune will not appreciate thunder punches um crocoon darkest lariat ignores the stats anyways um sorry forgot to turn my phone down i i have been sleeping a lot lately and so the minor little you know how to be a professional youtuber things they're gone just they're gone for right now uh Dial iron bash kills weavile if i ice punch the zygarde switch in it dies ice punch slash darkest lariat for decidueye Raikou doesn't really appreciate Double Iron Bash. Rhydon doesn't appreciate Double Iron Bash. Girder could come in pretty free. Again, I don't think Girder's coming, and Raboot's kind of frail. Don't really want to take hits, so. 
Once again, no metal can serve as a pretty good early game breaker. Wear his team down. I just have to be very careful versus big team. So. Up next, we have Rabombi with Sticky Web, Moonblast, Bug Buzz, and U Turn. This is Scarfed Rabombi. Um, Scarf Rabombi outspeeds everything on his team. Um, I'm doing that specifically because Scarf Bikini could be a problem. Um, as well as outspeeding the Weavile, unless it is also Scarf. It also allows me to outspeed the Zygarde. Um, Sticky Web, you can see, kind of, there's a mod coming up as to why Sticky Web is there. Um, speed set wise, also, uh, the speed creep 636 is to outspeed the Zygarde and the Raikou. Uh, just so if they're both Scarf, they'll still outspeed. Uh, Sticky Webs is for Arc Dissolve and Speed Control as well. Um, interestingly, if I slow enough of his Mons down, Melmetal could potentially <laughs> just do a lot of damage to him. Um, plus, his Defogger is Decidueye, which unless it's Boots, doesn't want its speed lowered, or Girder, which again, unless it's Boots, will lose its speed, plus Girder won't be able to defog against um, Rabombi, neither will Decidueye. They both um, are threatened by Rabombi seriously, severely. Uh, Celesteela comes in, which is why I have U-Turn. I go Gardevoir, I Bug Buzz. Um, Calm Mind Mega Gardevoir shuts down Rabombi, though. Uh, Victini gets Bug Buzz. Suicune, I just keep bug buzz. If it's sub Crocoon, I just keep bug buzzing through the sub and chip it down, force a rest, and then switch on a hopeful sleep or rest sleep talk. Um, Weavile gets Moonblast or Bug Buzz. Moonblast for Zygarde, Bug Buzz for Decidueye. Rhydon comes in if it's coming free. Reboot, again, doesn't want to take multiple hits. And Girder takes Moonblast. I thought I turned you down. Anyway. No more. Yeah. So that is Rabombe. Up next we have Sash and Echelego, which is probably my lead. Um, with T Spikes, Thunderbolt, Sled Wave, and Light Screen. Speed set wise, I'm now speeding Victini and Gardevoir. The light screen is specifically for Gardevoir because it is such a big pain in the ass for me, and both my special walls have terrible defense, and Mega Gardevoir can beat them. So, being Nicolega and Glade, uh, those are my two best special walls. So, don't really. Yeah, that's. I, I mean, I could run AV, but I don't have four attacks I want to run, so. Uh, light screen is nice. If I can get a light screen, it shuts down the Gardevoir for a few turns. Toxic spikes are really, really nice. Especially because his only defogger, again, is Decidueye and Girder. Jake does not have a lot of hazard control, and getting a Toxic Poison Toxic on Gardevoir is really, really nice. Um, especially if it's Calm Mindset, it'll help wear down the Teeny. My goal is to get two layers up if possible. Um, Coon, unless it's Rest Coon. Getting a true poison on it would be nice. Um, Weavile doesn't want to get poisoned. Zygarde, if it's T-Dance, doesn't really appreciate which is why I need to get two level layers off ASAP. The Zygarde won't appreciate it. Decidueye being ha would have to be Boots, otherwise it gets Toxic down. Like it's it Toxic Spikes are just really, really nice chip and nice for breaking any opposing Sashes. Uh, slowed away for the Gardevoir, and T-Bolt is for Coon, um, because Coon is mo Coon and Steela are the two most likely checks to Nihilego, unless Rhydon or Zygarde come, um, which, I mean, T-Bolt's not going to do anything to Zygarde, but um, it'll still, like, Nihilego can do what it needs to, potentially. So now we come to the real sauce here, the Arc Dizzle. Um, I don't think Jake's gonna, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I don't think Jake's gonna expect Arc Dizzle. Um, a lot of people didn't, only thought that I drafted it because I needed an Ice and an Electric type. And it's slow and a bunch of other things. So I was like, you know, he's not gonna expect it. I'm gonna bring Arc Dizzle. I'm gonna bring Life Orb Arc Dizzle. 
specifically because under sticky webs this thing just goes to town. Speed set wise, the 220. So I outspeed. Celesteela, um, but, um, if Celesteela outspeeds my Arctazolt, then there's something wrong, uh, but this should speed creep, uh, max speed, non-boosting Celesteela. It also puts me faster than base speed Coon, um, if that's his choice to run base speed Coon or min speed, um, little, basically I speed creeped his Coon, his Celesteela. Um, and if he's bulky Decidueye, speed crep Decidueye as well. Um, he does not have a switch into Arc Dizzle besides... Um, actually, he doesn't have a switch into Arc Dizzle. That's literally why I'm bringing it. If Girder doesn't come, he has no switch in. Arc Dizzle with a life orb, um, especially once... Um, it's faster than everything via sticky webs, and if you touch me and I get the static para. That's why I said Melmetal could potentially outspeed some things. Um, 200 attack was all I needed, 88 in HP, just to keep, if he does bring rocks, odd number for the defense. Um, Bolt Beak, Low Kick, Icicle Crash, Rock Slide's all I need. Bolt Beak, if I'm faster than Celesteela, Oko's through Max Max. Uh, Gardevoir, once it's slowed down, can't take a Bolt Beak. Victini, if it's slowed down, can't take a Rock Slide. Um, Suicune isn't taking a Bolt Beak. Weavile can't take a Rock Slide or a Low Kick. Um, Zygarde isn't taking Icicle Crash. Decidueye isn't taking Icicle Crash. Raikou isn't really wanting to take a hit. Rhydon can't take a Low Kick. Girder is the only thing that can take a hit, and I really don't think Girder comes. And Raboot could maybe take a hit, but probably not, because Bolt Beak is just stupidly broken. Um, stupid, stupid hard hitting, especially with Life Orb. And I don't have the Hustle Miss, so base 190 electric type move. So we'll see. We'll see what happens if Arctazolt can actually rip something off, or if Arctazolt is not going to have a fun time. So, but that is Arctazolt. We do have Mega Glade here. Um, I didn't think Mega Glade had a very good matchup until I looked into it a little more. And then I was like, oh, actually, Mega Glade has a pretty decent matchup. Um, we'll go ahead and try it. Poison Jab Knock, CC, and Swords Dance. If I can get the dance off, I pretty much Oko everything on his team. The reason that I'm only 164 attack is that was the minimum I needed for base moves to two-shot everything. And then once I sword Dance, I obviously... Oko, which allowed me to give myself a lot of HP bulk. Um, I did have to run Jolly just to outspeed his base 100s. But Jab, Knock, and CC. Uh, Celesteela, Max Max will take one CC, but it can't Oko me back even after the defense drop. Um, so I can kill it that way. Guard of War isn't taking a plus two um, jab. Victini doesn't take plus two knockoff. Coon does not appreciate plus two hits. Um, it can live plus two hits, but it won't take multiple. Weavile isn't taking a CC, and Weavile probably isn't even taking a poison jab. Uh, Zygarde is not going to want to take a um, knockoff or poison jab at plus two. Decidueye ain't taking a knockoff at plus two. Raikou doesn't want to, I mean, literally nothing on his team wants to take, except Girder, really. Wants to take a plus two hit, and Girder has to be afraid of Zen Headbutt, potentially, if I haven't shown off my set. So, but that's Glade. And last but not least is Rillaboom Boom, uh, making, I got Arctazole and Rillaboom making their season debuts. Um, this is Leftover's Grassy Surge. 148 attack stat was all I needed to do the damage that I need. 176 speed. I kind of just threw a random speed number in there um, because I don't know how much speed he's going to run on his Suicune. Otherwise, I outspeed Celesteela naturally. I outspeed Decidueye unless it's fast offensive. Decidueye. Um, and really, that's about all I need to outspeed. So I kind of just was like, all right, we'll go with a modestly crept 
if it's an offensive Suicune with a lot of speed, then I can outspeed, and then the rest goes into bulk. Rillaboom is very, very tanky um, with Leftovers Grassy Surge. Uh, and I have no EQ. This, well, that's why my model's not running EQ, because I don't want to run high horsepower and Darkest Larry. It covers what an EQ needs to cover anyways. Uh, U-turn, Drain Punch, Wood Hammer, and high horsepower. Only moves I really needed. Yes, high horsepower, not Earthquake, because high horsepower isn't cut by grassy terrain. I don't do anything to Celesteela besides Drain Punching it, so that's uh, U-turn fodder, uh, Gardevoir... I, again, don't do much. Uh, Woodhammer actually can Oko. Yeah, Woodhammer under Terrain can actually Oko Gardevoir, which is nice. Uh, Victini, I U-turn slash High Horsepower the Switch. I Woodhammer the Coon. Weavile, I U-turn on. Um, or Drain Punch. Um, Zygarde's going to come in. Um, that's really unfortunate. It's not going to want to take two Woodhammers, but... I don't really want to give Banded Zygarde a free kill, so um, Decidueye, I pivot on, because that doesn't really... We don't do much to each other, but I also don't want to be trapped by Decidueye with Spirit Shackle and have its swords dance up. Well, actually, I can U turn out of that. Never mind, it can't trap me. Raikou gets high horsepower, Rhydon gets wood hammered, Girder, I U turn on, and Rabu, if it comes, gets high horsepower. So. We'll see. I, I could really use the win. <laughs> Pretty bad. Um, I know Jake's kind of in a similar situation. Um, I also have Savage coming up, and Matt, and Damien, and Photon, and Matthias. And my schedule is not easy at all. So I, I need to take the wins when I can get them. And unfortunately, I think I can beat Jake. But at the same time, I'll probably get my ass handed to me. So. We'll see. Check out the uh, links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the battle. Hopefully feeling a little better.